So number 2a, we can um, factorize and then cross cancel common factors. Uh, let me give you a number example that looks like this. If you had something like, you know, 20 over 3 times uh, 30 over 2, okay? We can either do 2 to 2 goes once, 2 to 20 goes 10 times, you've seen that, or you can rewrite it as 2 times 10 over 3 multiplied by 3 times 10 you know over 2 so what we've done there is we factorized okay and now we can cross cancel common factors 2 into 2 goes once 2 to 2 goes once 3 into 3 goes once 3 and 3 goes once we have you know 10 times 10 100 I mean but I'm just making the point that what we're doing here is we're factorizing and then we're cross cancelling common factors and that's exactly what we're going to do up here I'll show you so if you have 2x minus 4 let's factorize that okay how would you factorize 2x minus 4? You could pull a 2 out, right? Pull out the common factor of 2, the greatest common factor, and it's 2 times what? 2 times what gives 2x? 2 times x, right? And 2 times what gives negative 4? 2 times negative 2, right? And on the bottom, x minus 3, we can't factorize that anymore, so it's just x minus 3. Okay. Can you factorize 5x minus 15? You can pull a 5 out, right? 5 times what gives you 5x? Five, 5 times what gives 5x? Five, 5 times x, right? 5 times what gives 15? Or negative 15? 5 times negative 3, right? And on the bottom of the fraction we still have just x minus 2, right? So now we can cross cancel common factors, x minus 2, cross cancels here, right? and we can also cross cancel x minus 3 right so that gives us 2 times 1 times 5 times 1 what's that 10 over 1 times 1 1 which is just the number 10 right